Just like with the regular color themes for VS Code, we can also install extensions that provide us with icons for folders and files in File Explorer. And now let's review several such extensions. I'm gonna be switching icon themes via command palette by running file icon theme command. There are also some icon sets which already come bundled with some VS Code themes. So let's start reviewing icons with Katpuchin icons set. This set is from creators of the Katpuchin theme, and therefore it is going to look nice, especially with Katpuchin theme. And let's check it out. Firstly, I'm gonna activate one of the Katpuchin themes, and then in command palette, let's run file icon theme and choose Katpuchin icon theme in here. There will be several variations, and this is how those icons look like. Similar icon set that is also going to look great with Katpuchin theme is called Katpuchin Perfect Icons. And I'm also going to show another variation of Katpuchin icons called Katpuchin Noctis icons. And after you will install both of those extensions, there will be several options in this file icon list that you can select from. Here we have all those sets provided by Katpuchin Perfect icons and one set provided by Katpuchin Noctis icons extension. And by the way, this Katpuchin Noctis icon set is based on another popular set of icons called Symbol icons. Let's find this extension and try it out as well. After installation, there will be additional set in this list called Symbols. And here is how those icons will look like. Another icon set is called Bearded Icons. This set is from the creator of Bearded Theme. And therefore it is going to play nice, especially with this theme. I'm going to activate Bearded Theme, one of its variation, and then let's choose Bearded Icon Set. And indeed those icons are looking pretty good. The next icon set already comes bundled with another popular theme called IU. So to use it, I'm firstly going to activate one of the variation of the IU theme, and then let's activate icons provided by this theme. This is how they look like. Moving on, next icon set comes bundled with another theme called MonoK Pro. The process is the same. Firstly, I'm going to activate one of the variations of the MonoK Pro theme, and then let's also activate MonoK Pro icon set. The next icon set comes bundled with Monospace theme extension. Let's see how it looks like. I'm going to activate Monospace theme first, and then let's choose Monospace icon set. And this is how that set of icons looks like. Another set of icons also included in one of the themes called Rose Pine. Let's just take a quick look at these icons, and then we'll move on to another set. Very popular icon extension is called Material Icon Theme. Let's enable this extension and see how these icons will look like. Similar icon extension to Material Icon Theme is called Just Icons. If we'll enable this extension, we will see that these icons indeed look similar to Material Icons. The next icon extension is also from the Material category called Atom material icons. They are also going to look similar to material icons. Another material icon extension is called Growbox material icons. There are even two similar icon sets, first one called Growbox material icons, and another one is called Growbox material icon theme. And by the way, some icon themes provide us even with an option to show or hide arrows next to folder icons. For example, Growbox Material Icons extension has such option. So to toggle arrows next to folders, we just have to run toggle explorer arrows command. And as I'm gonna be toggling this option, you will notice how arrows are appearing and disappearing. Sometimes it might not work right away, and maybe full VS Code reload will be required. Moving on to another icons extension called VS Code Great Icons. This one is also a pretty popular extension. Let's enable it and see how these icons look like. The next icon extension is called File Icons. It has two variations, or even three. 
Let's enable all those variations one by one. So the first one is the main variation. Another one is colorless, meaning that all icons will have black and white shades. And there is also another option to completely disable appearance of file icons. The next icon extension that we are going to review is called HyperNIM icons. And once I will enable this extension, you will see that these icons are pretty minimalistic as well. And this extension also provides us with an option to toggle Explorer arrows. Besides that, it has several other additional options. For example, we can separately specify the size of folder icons. In here we just have to specify the size of folders in percentage. Press Enter and full VS Code Reload might be required in order for changes to take effect. And after Editor Reload, we're seeing how folder icons have been enlarged. Alright, I'm going to reset this option back to its original value, set it to 100%. And let's review one more minimalistic set of icons. It's called Minimal Icons. This extension also has an option to toggle visibility of Explorer arrows next to folders. We can choose either Minimal Icons or Minimal Icons without Explorer arrows variation. And at the end, let's take a look at one more icon extension, which has pretty cool feature. On the website of this extension, you can try it out and see how those icons will look like, depending on the theme that will be activated. In this list, you can see what themes are supported by this extension at the moment. And depending on the selected themes, the shade of icons will be changed to better match colors of the selected theme. Alright, let's see how it works. Firstly, let's install this extension called Icons. And after that, I'm going to enable it. We're seeing how all icons are changed. But now let's choose another theme that is supported by this extension, for example, Night Owl. And after activating this theme, all icons will slightly change their shades. And if it will not work right away, we can force reload icons of this extension by simply running force rebuild icons command. There are also a couple more additional options provided by this extension. You can find those options in the readme of the extension. I'm going to copy those options and paste them into my VS Code configuration file. In here we can explicitly specify color for folder icons or show or hide explorer arrows, but this option is called hides explorer arrows instead of hide. I'm going to modify these settings to see the effect. We can see how errors appear or disappear. And when we select different colors for folders, as you can see it also works. And don't forget that if after modifying some of these options of this extension, it might not work right away, and we may need to run force rebuild icons command manually. And that's about it. We have reviewed several file icon extensions and link to those extensions will be in the video description.